Hi guys, welcome back. It's Angel Baby and welcome back to my channel Dollar Bill Life. Today is Friday, so happy Friday guys. Hopefully you've had a wonderful week. If not, then it does get better. Trust me on that. Just stay positive and stay focused. So today is Friday game night. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I do want to first welcome you guys and if you are returning, welcome back. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell that way you are notified next time I upload a video so you guys you know what this is it's Friday game night so we are going to play a couple of games first I am going to start off with my 100 envelope challenge with a twist now I don't really consider this so much a game but a challenge and so I might eventually move that to another video and not play that on Friday game night but for right now I am going to play it today I'm going to move my money jar up here and I'm going to grab my envelopes really quick. If you are new, this is my 100 envelope challenge box with my 100 envelopes in it. And I do it with a slight twist. So I will pick an envelope. And whatever it says on the front of the envelope, I stuff it and then I put it right back in. So I don't take out the numbers. And if I put my hands on it again, then I will restuff for that same amount. So if you guys want to play this along with me, then you are more than welcome to do so. So you can stuff an envelope according to whatever envelope I pick. So I'm just going to pick one. Let's see. I'll pick this one. Okay, so we have six. And so... I haven't stuffed this one yet, so I am going to go ahead and let me move this to the side real quick. If you remember, guys, I do have rollover money left in the jar, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And I'll use some of that money. So, let me count again just to refresh my memory of how much money I had left over. So, I have five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to, I'll just give him the nasty one, and I'm going to give it to five. So I'm going to move this over, and then I'm going to put the sits in here. And then I'm going to restuff this container back with that envelope. And I do need to play this more, um, only because this challenge is for my emergency savings. So, I need to definitely make sure I give this more attention from now on. So, I'm just going to kind of stick it somewhere in here and then close it up. So, that is done. So, let's move on to Save Opoly, guys. So, if you want to play this one with me, then get ready for that. Um, let me pause you really quick, guys, because I realized that my Save Opoly envelope is all the way across the room. I don't know why I didn't pull it. Hold on one second. I'm going to pause the video, okay? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to grab my my little envelope for a Saveopoly. So, I'm going to pull it out of here. And, just to, guys, um, just to let you know, with my 100 envelope challenge and Saveopoly, I will wait till the end of the year along with counting my change. That's going to be done in separate videos at the end of the year. So I don't want to know what I have in there right now. So let me see. Where did I end off at? Hmm. I think it was. I think it was five. Oh, well, we're going to say it's five. I'm going to go with that because I really don't remember, guys. Sorry. If you remember, just leave me a comment down below. <laughs> but um, I don't remember, so I'm starting off at 5. Let's do that. So here's my little die, and I'm going to roll it. And this is for my personal using thing that I want to get to splurge on. That's what this money is going to go for. So let me roll the die. And we have 4. So 4 is... One, two, three, four, twenty-five. So twenty-five is going in here. So let me grab some money here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. I 
have a bunch of ones I'm just going to get rid of. I think I'm going to have to trade them out, but I'll do it off camera. So this should be 25, and I'll count it with you just to make sure. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 25. So that is going to go in my personal funds here. And I'm just going to stick it in here. And like I said, I'm not going to count the bulk of it until the end of the year. So, Saveopoly is done. And I will move on to the last game that I'm going to play with you guys. And I do have my game board ready. So, <clears throat> excuse me guys. So, if you want to grab your game board and play right along with me, then you are more than welcome to do so. So... Let me grab that and I'm going to grab some money because I don't have a lot of money left because of the challenge and Saveopoly, but that's okay. Um, a little does go a long way. Here's my game board that I've made. Let me grab my cash and let's see what I have. Okay. So I have a little bit of cash here. I have a single 10. I have 5, 10, 15, and 5's left. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 1's. So there we go. That's what we were working with. Let me show you my categories on this game board today. So for Friday game night game board, we have 0 is girls, girls, girls. That pertains to, guys, if you watch a lot of the Golden Girls, that is, you know, that saying that when, uh, whenever one of the ladies walks in the door and they have something exciting to say, they go, girls, 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 like that. So that is what the envelope is. And that is just for uh, me going out with my mom. So um, anything kind of like other than, you know, our Savannah trip, that's if we want to go out to a restaurant, that is what that's going to be for. So that's my little twist on that. We have, so that is zero, and that's girls, girls, girls. One is travel, two is mama cat savings, three is new car, four is house maintenance, five is property tax, six is insurance, seven is future, eight is clothes, nine is mama cat, and ten is angel baby. So that is our game board today. I am just going to play with the counting cookies, um, so I'm going to grab those real quick. If you are new, this is one of the games that I play with. Um, and so it's just a little cookie jar. And it has these little, it's like a little toddler game. And it has the chips on the front, which corresponds to the number on the back. So that's all it is. There is a cookie here. If you see, I have zero up here. Um, if I play my playing cards, then the zero is the joker. And um, the one is the ace through ten. If I play with these, there is a cookie in here that has... Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. I'm just going to show you guys if you're new. So there's a cookie in here that has no chocolate chips on the front. And so that is zero. So that's why I numbered my game board like that. So I'm going to stick that back in. And for each um, denomination and um, bill, I'm going to pull a cookie... And once I pull that cookie and stuff for the envelope, I will stick that back in. And then I will re-pull again. If I put my hand on the same cookie, I will re-stuff for that same envelope. So you guys will get it. If that wasn't clear how I explained it, you'll get it as I go along with the game. So I always start from the smallest to the largest field. So let's get started. I'm going to move the top up here because I don't need that right now. And let's pick for our first dollar bill. That is... And the underline is going to be for six because, you know, you can never tell the six from the nine. So that is six chips. So that is number six. And that is insurance. So insurance gets the first dollar. And I'm just going to stick that back in there. So let me grab insurance. And that is going to be in Rose Island. I'm going to move this over just a touch so I can fit everything on here. And I'm just going to move that up there for right now. So let me grab Rose. And let's 
go to insurance and insurance is going to get that first one I will probably add this um, after the video so the video is not too long um, but I do have 18 in there that's 10 15 16 17 18 I get one from here so that is 19 and I will add it like I said when I get off camera so you guys are not having to sit there through that every time I pull okay so that is the first one so let's see where the next dollar is going to go so let grab our cookie jar and see okay and that's gonna be zero so zero is girls 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 I wish I could imitate how they do it when they walk in the room and they have their exciting news it's like girls 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 uh, yeah that was awful but I mean you got the gist of what I was trying to do okay so that is a new envelope that I came up with in Rose Nyland and I wasn't going to really show you, you know what, I don't want to show you guys that right now. Because that's going to be Saturday set up. So, you know what, I'm, I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to show you guys. So indecisive today, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So this is Girls, Girls, Girls. And if you want to know more about how I decorated it, then watch Saturday set up. Now I'll talk more about that. Okay, so Girls, Girls, Girls. Let me open that one up and in that one I just went ahead and stuck a dollar in um, off camera so I'm going to put another dollar so that will make girls 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 have two dollars so I'm going to stuff that in there and we will move on to the next dollar so maybe we will eventually go to a movie or something like that maybe that's what i'll use that money for or if we go out to a restaurant then i will be pulling that envelope out with me okay so let's see okay that is seven seven is future so let me grab confetti because no 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 not confetti sorry guys I'm grab Daisy May so Daisy has future in it future is going to be my investments um, you know like a backup retirement plan I want to say is more of a appropriate word for the future envelope so that one's all the way in the back so we do have money in the future so we have 20 30 41 at once so that's gonna be 42 so so far future is getting off to a very bright start guys um, I plan on at least having 2500 in there in order to go ahead and start whatever I'm going to start as far as my investment is concerned okay there is little Daisy May and I will move her off camera and go to the next dollar. So let's see where that one's going to go. Uh -oh. Well, one popped out. So I guess that one wants to be stuffed. That was eight. So eight is closed. So that's good. So that is held in, I believe, confetti. Let me grab her. Okay. So we have confetti here and let's go to close and I have the game board up here I think it's easier if I just slide it behind my glass of water that way I don't have to keep sticking on top of the money so that works a little bit better okay so clothing we have 10 15 16 17 18 and we have one so that's gonna be 19 and I've noticed as I go along with filming, I get a little bit better each time only because I, I figure out what works best for me as far as like shuffling things around. So just keep bearing with me. I will figure out the best system for the videos. <clears throat> I promise they will get better. <laughs> but that's okay. We don't have to be perfect, guys. So let me grab that one. Let's see. Okay, so that is four four is house maintenance 
So that is held in Rose Nylon. So let's grab her. And go to house maintenance here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where do I have house maintenance. Okay, maintenance. Now I do have money in there. Um, I don't have a tracker in there. I don't know why, but um, you really can't track maintenance because you not, never know what's going to happen. Just like with my plumbing, I had to pay $350 out for plumbing. So with this one, I don't believe in really having a tracker in there. So right now I have 100, 20, 45, 6, 7. So that is going to be 148 when I add the dollar. Okay, there we go. I guess I thought too, I could probably zoom y'all out a little bit more, but then sometimes it's hard to see what's on the screen as far as reading it. So I try not to zoom y'all out too much. Um, so I'm still trying to maneuver the screen around to where it's um, enjoyable for you guys to watch and then I can fit everything on too so I have to find like the equal balance there so let's go to our next dollar let's see okay uh oh we have zero again so that's girls 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 so let's grab that one again and that's going to make three dollars so I won't have to count again because I know that the three is that's going to make three Let's go back in here and grab a single dollar. And that's going to be three. Alrighty. Okay, let's see what is next. So let me see how many ones I have. Let's see, I have one, two, three, I have four ones left. Okay. I just like to kind of keep track of that. So let's see where the next one goes. Okay, we have four again, and four again is house maintenance. So I'm not complaining anything to do with the house because that does need to get bolts up. So I'm all for it. So let's see, we're gonna go to maintenance. And I'm just going to stick that in, that dollar in. So we have 120, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 149. I never thought that this um, envelope would get this kind of money that quick. So that just proves that if you just keep stuffing, you will accumulate money in it very fast. So you just have to keep going with it, guys. Don't get discouraged. Because I know I used to get discouraged and think that I had to have all the money right away until I really started sticking to my envelope system. And then now I don't get as frustrated with my finances and things are getting paid off and it's much better for me. So just stick with it and it will ease off and get better for you as well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I picked up four again. Okay, so... House maintenance it is. Let's grab it back again. I'm worried if me or Mama Cat are going to get money this time. Because we might not. And I still have, um, I haven't spent my money and she hasn't either. So, you know, it's okay. That gets a one. So that's one, twenty, forty, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. So we're at one fifty. And that really feels good saying that that has a whole $150 in it. So I'm very pleased by that. Alrighty. So I think I have $2 left and then three fives and one ten. So let's see. Let's see where the next dollar is going to go. Let's give it a good mix. There we go. Oh my gosh. I swear to you. Y'all saw that, right? Four. Okay, I'm not going to count it again because that's going to be 151. I'm going to stick the dollar in there. Let me grab Rose Nylon. That's kind 
another reason why I like doing these games because I let fate decide where it goes because trust me fate knows better sometimes than we do and sometimes you can get so confused you have so many envelopes and things that you have going on that need to be stuffed and sometimes you really don't know where to put the money at but if you kind of do like games like this then it kind of makes it easier and less stress on you to be able to know what to stuff okay let's see so we have that one single dollar left so let's see where that last dollar is going to go okay you, you guys see me mixing right so i'm mixing okay so we have okay so this is nine Oh, I thought they only put it under the sits, but I guess not. But this is nine because it has nine chips on the front. So nine is Mama Cat. <sighs> Mama Cat always gets money. I don't care what. <laughs> so let me grab her game envelope because her game envelope is separate than her Mama Cat money that I give to her to spend. So let me grab that one. Um, let's see. I know it's in here somewhere, so let me go in here and get that one. I think it's somewhere to the front. Do, 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 do. Or not. Huh. Okay, let me just pull them out, because I'm not going to be able to find it like this. There we go. Let's see. I know hers is purple. There we go. So this is all her game money that she has won. And I'm saving this up to um, give to her next year. So she won't get this this year. But let's see how much she has in here right now. And this is all the money that she's won on these game nights. So she doesn't even know that she has this. But, you know, we have to keep it a secret. So don't tell her. All right. So she has 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So we'll add the last $1. So that is 31 that she has right now in there. So, there she goes. And I'm going to stick hers right back in here. This is where I keep her extra rollover money that she gets from game night. So, I kind of just stick it to the front. That's why I couldn't find it because it wasn't where it was supposed to be. There we go. And I'm just going to put this cover back on. There we go. Alright, so now we're on to the fives and the tens. So, the good stuff. So, let's see where this is going to go, guys. So, the first five, let's see where it's going to go. Okay, that is going to ten. So, ten is me. Oh, my gosh, I get five. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me grab, let's see... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give that to Flamingo for a Savannah trip. So I can kind of get those out the way and stuff fully. So let me grab Flamingo because that's kind of where I've been putting my rollover money at. Um, let's see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break this five down. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to make change out of my Savopoly. Bear with me, guys. I got an idea here. So, I have Save Opoly. Let me grab five of these $1 out of here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, I have five of those. I'm going to put this back in. And I'm going to stick this $5 in here. That way, I can debulk this envelope. So, make sure, guys, that I see some of you guys... Um, your poor envelopes are screaming because you have so much money stuffed in there. So just try to um, not stuff it or overstuff it so much. Or try to minimize how many bills you have to put in there. So you don't break your seal on the side. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Let me grab, let me grab Flamingo, which she is right here. There she goes. Okay. So, let's grab her, and 
let me see. Let's see how I want to do this. Um, let's grab, actually, I'm going to move my money tray so I can have a little bit more room to work with. Let me move that off to the side. Let me move this over, guys. And let's just focus on where we're putting this money at for right now. What that is. Okay. So, let me see. I have... You know, I was close to stuffing food fully. Let's go in there first. Let's do that first. That way, I'll... Um, next time you see this, I can flag this one as fully funded. So, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 22. Let's see, 23, 24, and 25. So, I wanted to fully stuff that at 25. And so, that is fully stuffed. And I am going to flag that one so I do not have to restuff that one again and move on to the next envelope. So, I'll... Um, I will flag this one tomorrow on Saturday set up. So that means I have Angel Baby, Mama Cat, I have Snacks, and Gas. Let me see what I have in Snacks. Let's see. Oh gosh, I only have two. Um, let me put, I put a dollar in Snacks so that will make three. Cause that one does not have a lot of money for some reason i thought i had way more in snacks i don't and i will put a dollar in gas i think maybe i'm confusing the snacks with the gas because one of them was very close behind the food to be yeah it was this one this one was getting close to being stuffed and i'm gonna put this one at 30 as far as the amount that i want to go in there so we have 5 10 11 12 13 14 add a dollar and that's gonna be 15. So I have 15 more to go in this one for a tank of gas. And I'm pushing that to the max because normally I only have to spend about 25. Um, but with gas prices going up, as you guys know, I'm pretty sure, then um, I just want to have that extra money in there just in case. So I'm going to close Flamingo back up and we will resume game night. Uh-oh. Okay, the little sweetie fish don't want to go in there. Get in there. Okay. There we go. All right. Say goodbye to Flamingo. And let me grab our Monties. Okay, I have a t one ten and two fives left. And my game board. And let me get the cookies. So, the cookies. Alright, so the next five is going to go. Okay, we have five. So, five for five, and that's property tax. <clears throat> so, let's grab Rose Nyland and stuff her. Okay, so let's see where property tax is in here. This is a fairly new binder for me guys if you um, are new to my channel so I have to get used to where the envelopes are because they're all the same color so I can't tell by the color on this part so um, I have to get used to this binder. Uh, okay so we should have 31. I don't know if you can see my chicken scratch and it's orange so it's 10, 20, 31 at 5. Let's see. And I will mark that too when I get off camera on what the new total is. That is 10, 20, 30, 35, and 36. So I will stick that in there. And we will get to our last five. <clears throat> okay. So let's see where our very last five is going to go. Okay, I'll take it because I was trying to like shuffle them around, but this kind of flew out. So I take this as the universe is saying to restuff again. Oh, you know what, guys? I thought this said <laughs> property tax. For some reason, I was thinking I was repulling Rose Nyland, but 10 is Angel Baby, so that is actually me. 
So, I guess we didn't need to say goodnight to Flamingo because I'm going to stuff that one again in Flamingo. So, let me get her back on the stage here. Let's move this off. There we go. Okay. So, guys, let's see. We have the five, so I think I'm going to stick it in. I guess it's the closest one that I can tell is that needs to be stuffed. So let's just stick this in gas. Snacks I still can work on, but I think I want to go ahead and just get the ones that I know are closest to being stuffed, and I can flag. So that is, I think that was 15. That's 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's going to be 20. So I'll need 10 more for gas. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Mental math on Fridays is, is not it today. It is not it, guys. Okay. So let me see that there. And let's go back to our game board and pick for our last bill. Okay. It always makes me sad to get to the very last bill, but this is what we have. And that signals game night is coming to a close, but let's grab our board. Let's grab our cookies and see where that last bill is going to go. So I'm going to shuffle these really good and see what comes out. So let's go, guys. Last bill. And that is two. Two is Mama Cat Savings. Wow. Okay. That was way bigger than I thought. So she gets two dollars. Let me grab her savings envelope, which should be in confetti. Let me grab that. And I believe hers is all the way in the back with mine. Um, Let's see. I think it's one of the angel ones. Let me go to that one. Let's see. No. Okay. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. That's not correct. This is my financial binder, not confetti. I need to grab Daisy May. I was like, when I was went to the back, I was like, that's not right. That's not the right one. Okay. We have Daisy May here. And Mama Cat Savings. So that's just, I can see that tab from the top. So, she has money in there right now. And let's see what she has. Do, do, do. She has two. So, I'm going to give her this $10. That means that she will have 12 So, I'm going to stick that in there. Now, when she has a good bit of money in here... In her envelope, I will deposit that to her bank account. Right now, that's not enough money for me to make a trip to the bank. Because that, that would be going out of my way. And burning gas that I don't want to do. But whenever I feel like it's a good bit of money, then I will definitely go and deposit that. So guys, I think I'm going to use this game board again. So you will see this appear again. Because I really like this one. Um, we have... No more money. So that officially ends game night. I hope you guys have enjoyed playing games with me. If not, I hope you enjoyed watching it. So until tomorrow with Saturday Setup, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, and I will see you then. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and see you tomorrow. Bye.